morning. Well, I'm sure you've all heard the old saying of use it up, wear it out, make do or do without. Well, we've applied the make do or do without to this pig pen. See the little guys? Hey pigs. Every day, several times a day, they were getting out by jumping through this part of the panel because they're little and they're bouncy and they can do that. Well, we had to come up with a way to block them from jumping out of there because as much as I don't mind them being out here eating grass or whatever, the truth is they were beginning to wander farther and farther away from the pen all the way out around the front of the cabin. So we were afraid that they would wander over to our neighbor's house or something like that. Anyway, so this is the well pipe that we pulled out of the well when we first bought this place. Nothing wrong with it. It's got a couple of kinks in it here and there where it laid on the ground, but uh, because it was attached to a big old uh, well pump. Now, we don't even know if that well pump works, but uh, around here, a lot of these wells are pretty deep, as you can see by how long this thing is. And uh, they'll run on a well pump that's uh, 220 volts. Well, we can't do that here, being off grid. So, we pulled it. Now it's just been laying out. We never throw anything away around here, I think. Anyway, this old pipe has been just laying out everywhere, or over there by the shed we started. And, uh, uh, oh gosh, I get so easily distracted out here just watching the pigs. Anyway, so we put, brought it over here. And we've got it, like we ran it through behind the post here, tied it up in a couple of spots, wherever it was sagging down, all the way around, and then put a little over there, you probably can't see it. Anyway, put a little scrap of uh, two by four inch openings uh, welded wire over there. It wasn't much of a speed, so it's not going to be missed. And uh, got that blocked. Well, guess what? This is working. You do what you have to do with what you've got on hand sometimes. And uh, that's what we did here. Hey, big boy. I say big boy. He's probably. Uh, 100 pounds, and this is probably about as big as he's going to get. We're pretty certain that the female has been bred. It looks like she's getting milk. I've got to, got to, got to get some hay or straw in here to put in our house. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you what we what we came up with, the solution we came up with to keep the little guys from jumping out. We had started, my son had started putting this old trim in here, and that would work, but as you can see, it's already it's already cracked and broke, split, so uh, it wouldn't work for long. But this well pipe ought to hold them for until they get so big that they can't. You know, they're not going to be as bouncy. They won't they won't be able to come through these other openings, maybe. Anyway, that's the solution we came up with. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.